Hi everyone, in this lesson we're going to be having a look at how to play the instrumental Theme for Young Lovers by The Shadows. This was written in 1964 by The uh, the Shadows rhythm guitarist Bruce Walsh. So we will go straight in for a close-up then and see how it's done. Okay, the first section then sounds like this. Okay, so for this then we're going to be on the top E string. We're going to play 10, 9, 7, 9, 7. And then all the vibrato is done using the, uh, the vibrato bar. Okay, the next bit sounds like this. Okay, so this is 7 on the B string. 9, 7, 9 on the G, then down to 7 on the B string. Back up to the top E string and the same as before, 10, 9, 7, 9, 7. And then onto the B string 7, 9, 7 on the G, and then back to 9 on the G. Okay, and the timing for all of this then goes like this, so it's 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, Two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, four, one. Okay, next section sounds like this. Okay, so starting here on the A string, we have the open A, two on the A, then go down to the D string, play open D, then two, four, two open, two on the A string, open D, and then again, two, four on the D, two on the G, back to four on the D, then the open D and the four on the D. So, so far we have. Okay, we're now going to go on to two on the G string, then four on the D, two on the G, four two on the G, then four, open, two on the D string. Okay, and the whole of that section then the timing goes like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one and two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. The next section then sounds like this. Okay, so we're going to start here on the second fret of the G. We're going to play two, four on the G string. Then two, three, two, three, two on the B string. So two, three, two, three, 
2, all that on the B string. 4, 2, 4, 2 on the G string. Then 4, open on the D string. 2 on the D. Then the open D twice. Then we're going to slide 2 to 4 on the D string. Play 4 again. Then 2, 4 on the D. 2 to open on the D. 2 to open on the A. Then 2 on the A. And then the open D string two times. Okay then, and the timing for all of that then is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, so I'll put all of that, I don't know, you could call it a verse section, I suppose, but I'll put all of that together. Okay, a lot of that is going to repeat now. So the next section sounds like this. Okay, so starting here on the open A string, open two, onto the D string, open, and two, four, two to open, two on the A string, back onto the D string now we have the open D, and again, then two, four, two on the G, to four on the D, then the open D, four, two on the G, four on the D, then on the G string now, two, four, two, four to open on the D string and then two on the D. Like I said, most of that's exactly the same as uh, at the beginning, but I'll uh, just put the timing to that. So that's one, two, three, four, one, Two, three, four, one, and two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. The next section then. Okay, so there is a bit of a difference in this section, but we're going to start here on the second fret of the G. We have two to four, two on the B string, and three, two, three, two, up onto the G string now, four, two, four, two, up onto the D, four, open, two, open, open, slides two to four. And here's where our difference is. 
we're going to play the fourth fret of the D string along with the second fret of the B string. Then we go two to four, two open all on the D, two open on the A, two on the A, then the open D string twice. Okay, so. Okay, and the timing for all that then is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Okay, the next section then sounds like this. Okay, so for this then we have the open A string two times. Then I'm going to play the fourth fret of the D along with the second fret of the G. And then we've got the second fret D along with the open G. Then got the open A string two times. We've then got the fifth fret of the D along with the fourth fret of the G. And then back to the 4th fret D, 2nd fret G. Open A string twice again. We have this, the 7th fret of the D along with the 6th fret of the G. And then that goes back to the 5th fret of the D and the 4th fret of the G. So it's the same shape. Just move it back 2 frets. We're then going to go back up to the uh, 7th fret D, 6th fret G, play that two times, and then all the way back to 4th fret D, 2nd fret G. Okay, and the timing for this then is... One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one. Okay, we then have this, uh, which is a, a variation of the thing we opened with. Okay, so we're going to be on the 10th fret of the top E string. We're going to go 10, 9, 7, 9, 7. Up onto the B string now, play 7. Then onto the G, 9, 7, 9, 7. Repeat that exactly the same, 7 on the B. 9, 7, 9, 7 on the G. We've then got the G string at the 7th fret again. And then we're going to go back one fret now and play the 6th fret of the G string. Okay, so the timing for that section. 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 1, 2, Three, four, one, two, three and four and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two.
Okay, then we have this section next, then, which is a, a section that's mostly palm muted. He, he sort of takes some of the notes off and doesn't palm mute all of them, but I suspect that was probably done by accident. I think he was probably intending to do most of the notes palm muted. Um, but anyway, it goes like this. Okay, so this section then starts off on the 7th fret of the uh, D string, and I won't play the palm mutes for now, I'll just call out the open uh, the names of the strings. So we've got uh, 7, 9 on the D string, and then go to 7 on the G, then 9 on the G, 7 on the B, 9, 7 on the G, 9 on the D, and then 7 on the... Uh, G string two times. Then we go nine on the G, seven on the B, then ten to seven on the B, seven on the G, seven on the B, ten on the B, then seven ten on the B. 7 on the top E, 10, 7 on the B, 7 to 9 on the G. And the timing for this whole section then is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, and 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, and 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, Okay, the next part of this then again would be played with a palm mute. It goes like this. Okay, so again I won't play the um, palm mute as we go through it. So we'll be starting here on the 10th fret of the B string. Go on to the top E now, we have 7, 9, 10, 9, 10, 9, 7, 10, 7. Okay, then on to the 10 on the B, 7 on the B, 7 on the G. Stay on the G now, we have 9, 7, 7, 9. And notice I'm moving my first finger up there from the 7 to the 9, and that's to allow me to do this. Okay, so for this you need your first finger on the 9th fret of the G string, second finger on the 10th fret of the B string. You're going to play them together, and then hammer your third finger onto the 11th fret of the G string. Okay, we then have 9 again on the G string, then to 11, then we take our hand back, we go 9-7 on the G, and then onto the D string we have 9-7, then nine on, the G, uh, 9 on the D, and then 7 on the G string two times. Okay, so all of that section then would have been. Okay, the timing for this whole section then starting on the B goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, and two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, then finally we have the outro section then, which is very similar to the intro section. It goes like this.
Okay, so for this we have uh, 10 on the top E, then 9, 7, 9, 7. 7 on the B, then 9, 7, 9 on the G, 7 on the B. Back to the top E, 10, 9, 7, 9, 7. Then 7 on the B, 9, 7 on the G, then 9, 9 on the G again, and then we have this chord. And this is a, it's actually a D major chord, but we're going to play it as 12 on the D string, 11 on the G, 10 on the B, and then 14 on the top E. Okay, now that one is quite a stretch. If you wanted a simpler way of playing it, you could do it here by barring across the seventh fret at the uh, on the D, the G, and the B, and then playing 10 on the top E. That's a little bit easier. Or you could just play regular D chord, I suppose, if you want to do. But that is how I think it's done on the record. And it's uh, because of this top note here, this F-sharp, you can hear that ringing out. Well, I think I prefer it there, personally. I like to have that, that D note. It is a D chord, uh, that note there being a D. I think that high D sounds nice ringing out. Uh, but it's up to you. That is how it's done, anyway. Okay, the timing for that section, then, is this. One, two... Three and four and one, two, three, four, one, two, three and four and one, two, three, four, one, two, three and four and one, two, three, four, one, two, three and four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. It really helps out my channel and I will see you next time.